good evening. Um, I didn't have too many plans today because it was a bit of a trip which I didn't really plan very well but uh, what little plans I had I've gone to Pot um, for a few reasons um, left my tripod at home which I haven't done before um, so that's a bugger and as soon as I'm down at the sea uh, I'm going to have to stay away from the getting too close to the coast but anyway as you can see it's uh, starting to be sunset over there now um, so I'm just walking along the beach to try and get something luckily I've got my uh, gorilla pod tripod which I should be able to uh, set my camera up on um, so I'm gonna just wander over to a location with some rocks over there um, and try and set up with that well I've uh, come over to the rock formations um, and this is what I'm having to resort to luckily I've got a little gorilla pod um, but I mean it's been quite challenging now um, because I can't really obviously um, <coughs> have the sea come very close to me because uh, the camera is so low to the ground if the sea comes in it's going to splash my camera uh, I've also got it on a two second timer now because if I put my uh, remote shutter release on it's going to be just dangling in the sea um, so I'm just like uh, wandering around to a few locations around here trying to get off some shots hoping that one of them might turn out to be okay like I say it's very difficult because uh, I can't get too close to the water Ooh, oh that's right can't get too close to the water because it will get covered it's uh, very difficult but like I say trying to get the odd the odd shot uh, but uh, vlogging and taking pictures can be difficult at the best of times yeah, for those of you that haven't tried it, um, you know, the people which are just photographers, I don't mean that in a bad way, just photographers, but I mean, uh, meaning that that's all that you're concentrating on, taking a photo, um, you know that that takes a lot of concentration to try and get the right composition, the right shot, so on and so forth. Um, so when you're also trying to vlog about it, speak about it, all that sort of thing as well, that adds another complexity to it. Um, when you add the fact that your tripod is so low and you're at the sea and you're trying to get shots by the sea it turns into a real nightmare because obviously my first priority has got to be keeping my camera safe uh, which makes it difficult which is why I've sort of been pausing there not saying anything when I'm trying to take it still a lot of uh, surfers in the water uh, so it's actually turned out to be quite a nice evening there. It's come down below the, the clouds and the haze there to light up. Still only got my 10 to 24 mil at the moment there. So I'd like to actually zoom in and get some shots of the surface, but obviously the closest I can get is 24 mil, so that's not really going to happen. Uh, right, I'm just going to sign off for a minute, see if there's any other shots, compositions I can think of. The tide's starting to come in a fair bit more now. Uh, low tide was at half past six, it's now a bit gone nine o'clock, so the tide's coming in. I think high tide isn't until about 1am tomorrow morning though. But anyway, the sun's getting low, so I've got to try and sort out some compositions. I'll be back with you shortly. See you in a bit. 
I've managed to get a few shots, a couple of different compositions. Um, doing it a little bit differently, like I said, because of um, how much I've got to concentrate on keeping my camera safe. I haven't actually sat there and talked you through it because, uh, like I said, I need to keep an eye on the camera. The tide's coming in a fair bit now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put the shots up at the end. Uh, the camera's up. The tide's actually coming in quite close to where I've got my bag now, so I think I need to retreat a little bit. The colour's lighting up nicely over there now. Um, so I'm going to retreat back a bit. Maybe see if I can get anything up on top of the rocks over there, perhaps. Um, and then I'll probably stay about a little bit afterwards to see once the sun's down, whether it lights up the sky a bit. Um, got some nice colours. But anyway. I'm going to put you down for a minute, sign off, so I can uh, have a little clamber over those rocks, move my bag back a bit further to a safer location. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, yeah. right top of that. Just started to uh, record a clip, and the tide's just come in. I'll just sort of uh, put a shot from here, and uh, the tide hadn't been in that far, and as soon as I turn on the video camera, the tide comes crashing in where my whoa, camera would have been. It would uh, now actually be underwater there, probably. So, uh, again, this is why, uh, with the situation of having no tripod, uh, I need to concentrate on my camera safety. Uh, but I've got another composition from there. Sun's nearly down now and uh, lighting up the sky quite nicely. So what I'm gonna do is uh, find a composition now that I can get when the sun's down and I can actually get the sky lit up. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what else it'd be, probably similar to what I've got already. Uh, what have I got? Water, beach, sea, there you go, job done. Uh, might try and get a bit, of a bit of a reflection in the water here, perhaps. Well, I said uh, that plans are all gone to pot, everything was going wrong, but I don't know, when, you, when you're at North Devon, and you have sunsets like that what what could possibly be wrong whatever whatever I've got I mean that, that's been worth it it's just amazing I just love North Devon sunsets really wish I had a longer lens at the moment uh, which I should actually Probably by next time I vlog, I will actually have a, the, a 55 to 200, which I'm really looking forward to. Even though I absolutely love shooting with a 10 to 24, I'm also looking forward to having something with a bit, a bit longer. Um, the sky is just amazing now. I've took another shot of the sky, concentrating on that. Um, so I think I might just try and uh, grab one more before I go. I'm not sure whether there'd be another composition for what I didn't already have there uh, with the consideration of the, the one lens I've got. Uh, can't really do the long exposure um, because of the lack of tripod. Right, I think I'm uh, done with my shots. I'm just going to finish up by enjoying the gorgeous sunset that we've got. Um, hopefully, I haven't done too bad considering uh, the situation and for a night that I thought was a total loss hopefully it's uh, turned out quite good there were a few compositions I would have liked to have taken uh, with a camera up a bit, a bit higher because um, I got most of the compositions I wanted anyway I think I think they've worked hopefully quite well from the low down perspective. Um, 
So I'm going to head off back to the car. Got an hour and a half drive back home and got to get up early tomorrow morning. Go and pick my daughter up from the airport, which is about an hour and a half away again as well. Um, so it'll be an early start. So I'm going to sign off. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. It's turned out to be another epic sunset. So hopefully I've got some decent shots. Um, please subscribe, like, any comments below would be welcome. And I'll catch up with you next time, hopefully. Bye for now.